Now let's go ahead and loot the rest of the uh, passing gas around us here. Oh, there comes the daily air airdrop. Okay, where is it? Ugh, it's all the way over there. Yeah, it's in the middle of the fucking town. Oh god. That means that uh, if we're unlucky, lots of dogs are gonna show up and say what's up. Probably eat us alive too. I'm not looking forward to that. But for the sake of, of uh, for science, we'll go ahead and uh, try to loot that airdrop sometime soon. Don't know when, but sometime soon. TM. TM. Worn boots. Scrap those, I guess. Feathers. Why not? Ooh, more duct tape. Nice. Whenever you see duct tape, always make sure to loot it and bring it with you. Because you need duct tape for a lot of things, like repair kits. Um, I think med... Uh, or what is it called? Med kits? Yeah, I believe med. you need duct tape for med kits. Because it kind of acts as bandages, I guess. <laughs> actually, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Because you can actually make bandages standalone by, by, uh, by itself. So, I don't know why I've suge suggested that. Iron arrowheads, and we'll just scrap those. And search this. Okay. Search that. Nothing. I guess we'll go ahead and harvest these guys for animal fat and rotten flesh, I guess. We. So basically, my plans for this base is to erect a lot of uh, static defenses for in, pre in preparation for the uh, Day 7 waves. Because the the reason why we want this base is because not only does it have like innate fortifications that come with it just by spawning, you know, just because of the way that it's been designed, but also um, if you assuming you can make like rings and rings of uh, of defenses, it's it's a pretty easily defensible place. Oh, crap. Bone shiv ran out. Recipes, make another bone shiv. There we go. A much better one now. Nice. Scrap everything for iron. Like, I was watching um, Next Gen Tactics, or Next Gen Zombies, Spider Bite, in other words. Um, wa I was watching him run around bashing shit with the sledgehammer uh, to get iron. That's not really an eff efficient way of getting iron. Plus, you're getting rid of potential loot spawns, so that's not good. Um, really, the be best way to get iron is just to scrap anything that's, uh, that's kind of useless, like metal cans and shit like that. For those, basically. Yeah, we need a uh, pickaxe for that. Nothing in those. Get some more coins. Beer. Beer, 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 beer. Team beer. Nice, some splints. So splints are good uh, because... Uh, in this game, zombies can break your legs, and uh, while it's 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 not like game ending if you ha if you have broken legs, you do move at a much slower pace. Like I think it reduces your movement like 50% or something like that. So obviously, it's really annoying to have your legs broken. Um, so split if you make a, if you have a splint, you can just have you can just right click it, and then you can uh, begin what you call it. You can uh, I forgot I lost my train of thought here. You can basically Put on yourself, and you can move at like 80 or 90 percent speed. Not full speed because you're still healing, and it, healing your broken leg still takes time. But it's a lot better than running around at like 50 or 60 percent. So there's that to think about. Just scrap those two. Um, hmm. 
What was I gonna do? Right. So we will. We need to smelt these things. So you basically, what you need to do, you need to go up to and make. It, once you place down your forge, you need to turn on uh, the fuel, and then once it's turned on, you put in stuff like brass and iron. We're also sticking lead in the output here just to keep it there. And uh, as you can see, as the wood burns, um, or as your fuel burns, you can see that. Um, these numbers here basically kind of are like your your stockpile, the forge's stockpile of uh, resources. So you need to smelt these, and these numbers will go up. It's the, basically how it works in a nutshell. And then from these materials, you can make like I you can make well, not these things. These are the raw the raw materials, but you can make like uh, forged iron, cooking grills, things like that. We do need some clay to make a, a an anvil because we need the anvil to make like forged iron and shit like that. So. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, put away some of our uh, more useless stuff. I also need to remember to uh, make another campfire, because we already used our campfire and put it over there. But, I mean, hey, those are easy to come by. Keep the small stones, um, put away the rotten flesh, the flashlight. I believe the flashlight goes with the military stuff. So, in there, I guess. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. Uh, Duke's tokens, put in there. Beer, I guess, goes in with the uh, this year's stuff, I guess. Actually, what's our food and water looking like? Ooh, it's a good thing I, I remembered. So drink one bottle of uh, that. And uh, so if you have so many jars of honey, we, we'll go ahead and eat, um, eat some, I guess. Uh, we'll eat like three. Honey does give you wellness, as you guys can see. Um, regarding, uh, wellness gain, you don't always gain wellness every time you, uh, eat, like, honey or meat or stuff like that, especially when you get higher up on the uh, health wellness list. Um, it's like a set value. And sometimes you don't always get, uh, wellness back from them. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, we'll keep the splints on us, because obviously they're really important, and who knows when we'll get our, uh, ankles, uh, fucking broken. Be play zombies be playing basketball, yo. Okay. Okay. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and loot the rest of the uh, base here. This is a vending machine. I've never really had much use for it because I usually find all my crap first. So I've never really had a use real use for it. Hey, there's a chicken. Uh, we don't really give a shit about coffee beans. We'll keep the steel arrowheads because I do like making uh, steel, whatchamacallit, um, steel crossbow bolts for the crossbow. And the crossbow is a lot better than the uh, bow and arrow, with the exception that uh, you can't aim down sights with the crossbow. You can, but there it's like, where do you use the shoot? <laughs> like, where do you shoot it at? What do you aim? It's kind of It's kind of confusing. It's not really intuitive. So there's that. Shopping cart has beer in it? Okay. I mean, that's fine too, I guess. Fuck the old sham sandwiches. Scrap plastics. I've never really had a use for scrap plastics in this game. Like, I guess I haven't gone that far into the game to really know what they do. Plus, they're, they're like really recent additions too on top of that so eh, I don't really know nice a padlock <laughs> not that I really need it anyway because this is a single player game the reason why I'm just tossing out glue is because you know, if you always if you always manage to pick up a uh, duct tape and shit like that then you don't really have a use for glue because you use you, you use ba you basically use glue to make uh, duct tape. This is main use. Just in case you don't find a lot of uh, just in case you don't find a lot of duct tape, then that's what glue's for. You can also make glue uh, by using bones. So there's that. Just in case you need an alternate way. I'm gonna loot these things here. I guess I'll take the moldy bread. Actually, I already have a uh, honey. 
the fuck am I using? What the fuck am I taking moldy bread for now? <laughs> fuck that shit. So, uh, yeah, never mind. Alright, and we still need to loot that goddamn airdrop. <laughs> Jeez. That's gonna be fun. We won't stop to uh, harvest that guy because uh, time constraints. It's already about to get dark, as you guys can clearly see. Feathers, eh, why not? How many arrows do I have? 84. It'll last us, hopefully. Um, hmm. I guess I'll scout out where the airdrop is and where it, where it's landed in the town. Um, if it's like smack in the middle of town, then geez, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I guess I'll, I'll have to. I'll for, I'll be forced to basically um, kind of wait until tomorrow in order to loot it. Like as soon as as soon as daytime comes. I don't know. Also, um, you can you can traverse hills faster by constantly jumping. <laughs> kind of stupid, but you know, hey, that's you use what the game gives you. All these nests that I want to loot, but oh, hey, look, a pig. I have no idea if I've uh, actually managed to down it or not. So let's go over and investigate. I'm going to assume I didn't. Yeah, I don't know where it's gone off to. Yeah, I'm not going to try chasing it. Because zombies are starting to spawn in town and... Uh, all I want to do is j just scout out whether or not I can even loot the uh, damn airdrop or not. That's all I want to do. I ain't got no business with your town, bitch. But I will loot everything along the way. Because <laughs> I'm a loot goblin. Get your inner dra dragonborn out. Nice little car here. That's what this guy's got for us. Nothing. Yeah, well, fuck you too, buddy. Yeah. So that's th that's the farm. We don't want to go near the farm because uh, dogs can spawn there too. I think every time you pass it the first time, they should they should always spawn. So yeah, that's not fun. We don't want to go there. So much wildlife that I want to hunt, but right now I can't because I just want to get this damn airdrop and get out of here. Okay, good. Still undetected for now. Where is the goddamn airdrop anyway? No idea. Ugh, is it on the other side? Seriously? Okay, make sure I'm not detected. Oh, it's right on the other side. Okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to go near the